YouTube here to do another impromptu video about something else that's been kind of bugging me I suppose something I wanted to speak on but never quite got around to or wanted to pre-plan but for some reason or another something always came up or another video was higher in the totem pole at the time but it's pretty impromptu I haven't written it out I haven't given myself any notes it's just I gotta talk about it um, Basically, it's about baggage and person's baggage and the variations in person's baggage and how that all works, at least how it relates to me. And perhaps I can give someone a perspective or some persons a perspective on, if not everyone, and how to approach the other persons in their lives, at least how to approach me. Or maybe it'll explain why my approach tends to be so seemingly ineffective. Um, I have some lovely lovely persons in my life. I have not too many, but the ones I do have tend to... I don't let a lot of persons in, so the ones I do let in I rely on heavily for, I guess, my sanity's sake. Because I don't have as many avenues as I used to with regard to, you know, decompressing and de-stressing and stuff like that. Um, so I have a lot of lovely persons, or some lovely persons in my life. I have a couple awful persons in my life as well. Um, we And of course, this is when I speak about myself, I'm going to essentially be referring to people in general because I know this relates to many, many others. So I have some awful persons in my life, persons you wanted to love you, persons who didn't love you, persons who didn't love you enough or stopped loving you, whatever the case may be. I also have some lovely persons in my life who tend to be a bit awful at loving me sometimes. Um, and that sounds a wee, but it really is they either don't have the tools don't want the tools or don't know how to apply the tools or I don't have the tools to give them and I think that's the case for a lot of persons not just someone with chronic illness or um, mental illness or anything we all have our stuff and, and we all have would want our persons in our life to understand how to deal with our stuff even when we don't quite know what the hell to do with the stuff that we have um, so I say that to say that this isn't to hurt anyone, but for some reason when I sit down and I turn on my camera, it kind of comes out sort of-ish making sense, so here's my attempt at that. We all have our baggage, alright? Now, when dealing with our baggage, I think it's important that we realize that everybody else got some baggage. and. Nobody's baggage is pretty or else we wouldn't call it baggage. Not everybody is perfectly put together in a lovely little rolling suitcase that's easy to tote around. No, no, no. We have our shit and sometimes this baggage busts open and some dirty laundry is all over the place and you're sitting there thinking, damn, forgot I had that. It's important you don't forget you have that because sometimes without us even realizing it, the baggage that we have makes us paint other person's baggage in a different way with a different brush so to speak sometimes our own baggage that we're not aware of makes us colder or less willing to understand your persons your partners your friends your students your child your parents baggage sometimes you don't even realize how messed up your shit is and how much it makes you judge others without even meaning to or thinking that you are. Your past interactions, your history, your past relationships, your past in general, whether or not you want to admit it, has affected how you handle persons in your present. No matter how much you think that you are loving and you are caring, and don't get me wrong, there are many persons who are, but at the same time, subconsciously, your baggage makes you a little less willing to deal with someone else's. And that's just human nature. That's us being tired of there being something else to deal with. That's just us wishing for once this interaction or this relationship or this situation was easy because nothing else seems to be. Why you gotta be difficult too? Well, sometimes you gotta be difficult because you're meeting someone with 20 odd, 30 odd, 40 odd years of stuff they're not gonna come perfect 
and we're, I mean, this is a friendship, this is whatever, they're not going to come perfect. They existed prior to you, or they have experiences outside of the ones you know about. So it's not going to be easy, and it's not going to be cookie cutter, and it's not going to be puzzle piece perfect. But in order for it to work, and in order for you to have some empathy, you need to realize that there are faults which lie in you. And I'm saying this to myself. I'm saying this to everybody. My baggage, my history, whether it be limited or extensive, <sighs> makes me tired. My baggage makes me tired, just my own personal baggage. So yeah, sometimes I get real tired of dealing with people who seem to always have something else. like, Or... I get tired of people who I let into my circle seeming to be a lot more... They shouldn't hurt me in my head. People that I allow in shouldn't hurt. And that's idealistic. And it's impractical. But it's what my heart wants because it's okay if the world wants to hurt me. It's okay if the world wants to think that think whatever but the people that I allow in since I allow in so few should not be the source of the same hurt that the world provides because you're now in my little world and in my little world I'm supposed to be okay so when I've invited you in and allowed you in and welcomed you in you're not supposed to bring the world with you but I can't expect that I'd love that to be the case but I can't expect that because people are people and people are flawed and people have baggage so my baggage makes me not want them to have baggage, but their baggage is their baggage. And they can't hide their baggage any more than a black person can hide their skin or a fat person can hide their roles. But in the same breath, I can't hide my baggage either. And I can't make my baggage be lighter, quicker, just to suit the persons in my life. I can't recover quickly just to make people happy or a person happy. I can't recover quickly just so I can love better. Even though my baggage and some aspects of my baggage are not as visible as black skin or fat rose or a non-feminine woman, I mean, you can walk into a room and be like, yep, that's a stud. And I can walk into a room like, that's a five foot ten fat yellow girl. But some of my baggage is hidden and it only comes out when the zipper is burst and the dirty laundry is on the floor. I can't package my baggage. I'd love to. I can't compartmentalize aspects of my life just to love better or be better or be a better girlfriend or be a better daughter. I'd love to, but I can't make the baggage lighter, quicker, and none of us can. So I ask you guys, whoever is within earshot, just to understand that sometimes your baggage makes you heavier and it makes you baggage to someone else, and we all have it. So be patient, try to understand that you're coming with your hurt but the person has theirs. And just as long as it took you perhaps longer, they can't make it lighter. They love you, they care for you, they want you deeply, but they cannot make the baggage go away. But bear with them, maybe you can help them unpack. Be loving, guys. We all need it. Bye-bye.